Hey everyone, so I was doing a uh, retouch of a headshot real fast and I thought I'd do a tutorial on how to kind of fill in these separated hairs. Um, I was kind of going to do it on the fly, so uh, here goes. So basically I would grab a levels uh, adjustment and then uh, bring out some of the blacks real fast just so I can see them. It's only temporary. And then I would, uh, I've already done some of this, but I would grab a uh, your selection tool and grab whichever piece of uh, hair you want and then command J and um, let's do this fast. command J will duplicate it onto a new layer and grab your uh, move tool and then just move it over to uh, the area you want to cover which actually that looks pretty cool even better than one I did before so we'll leave that one um, and then I hold down option while I make a mask because this makes a mask that doesn't show anything so now you have to paint in what you want to see. So you grab your brush tool, and then you have your white selected because white shows and black hides. Um, and then just with the brush, I'm at 40% opacity. Just kind of paint in here where you want to see the hair. And it's kind of raining outside, so you might hear the uh, rain pinging off my swamp cooler. So we'll zoom in here. And then I would make the brush a little bit harder. You can. Uh, hold down shift while you use the bracket keys which makes it harder the regular bracket keys just makes the um, brush bigger or smaller so we're gonna go through and just paint in right to the edge of the existing hair here because that'll be just kind of our guideline there and that looks pretty decent we're gonna get rid of this thing here because I want to kind of blend better so right now that looks pretty good for what we've got. Um, and then is what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to hold down Alt and drag up and it copies this layer. And I'm just going to um, merge that down with Command E. So now that's part of that layer. Um, just I do that on a whole new layer just because I want to, in case I don't like it, I can go back <clears throat> and get rid of it. Okay, so now um, I'm going to turn off this layer. So now I can see that it's kind of... Uh, just hidden all that uh, detail which is fine because we want it kind of dark back there anyway so now we're going to hit uh, command shift x which is our liquify tool and I'm just going to go in here and kind of round out the hair here and I'm going to go through and do this whole entire headshot but I'm just showing you this for just the tutorial so just kind of want to go through and make it all round and nice and uh, there you go you pretty much have now you have your uh, hair that's nicely rounded and sculpted with the liquify tool and covered uh, the separated hairs so here's the before and then there's the after so if you guys have any questions or anything uh, leave them in the comments field and I'll do my best to answer them and thanks you guys for watching